And Baby Nagi, how is your typey holding up this disco ball? That thing's heavy. It's a part of my workout routine. I'm trying to make my booty. booty licious. Uh, and, uh, Baby Nuggy, what is this pineapple here for? Oh, that? That's my chair to sit on later. A chair? Baby Nuggy, this has a bunch of spikes on it. How are you supposed to play the Nintendo Switch, hold up this disco ball, and sit on this pineapple all at the same time? That is an impossible challenge. Well, it's a good thing that today's video is also about impossible challenges. Wait, really? Sit on my pineapple. Whatever you say. Ah! It hurts! <laughs> That like smash like on today's video if you want to win every single challenge in today's video. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. And then that means you automatically win the challenge. But don't know if you watch to the end of today's video. Then you really, really win. Smash like! Uh, twisted what is that they're putting in the toilet? No! Like Wait that. a sec! That's chocolate sauce! And whipped cream? Girl, you can't be serious! And why you putting in some milk too? No, no, no! Sprinkles! Girl's making herself a whole chocolate milk float! Usually I'd say yummy! But why in a toilet? If you're telling me right now that she's gonna sip on that thing, no! <gasps> oh, it happened! You're gonna be drinking more than just chocolate sauce! <laughs> But he's playing with cardboard boxes? I mean, oh! <laughs> what is that? Imagine your Amazon box finally shows up at your door. Oh, look, Mom! I got some legs! They kind of hairy, though. When people drop food on the ground, why do they throw it away? Like, it's still good, you guys. Ooh, oh dude! I hope you don't kiss your mother with those feet. Tell me you're the disappointment in your family without telling me you're the disappointment in your family. Yeah, bro, that's you. Death doesn't scare me, but this does. <gasps> no! Is he doing his passcode with his? No, it can't be! Pressing numbers with fingers? Too basic! It's all about that slurpy slurp now. <laughs> No, 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 okay. Mm, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this. Lady, what are you doing? Oh, she's a possessed spider? Or a demon? This girl's doing her crazy dances in the living room when poor Uncle Billy's just trying to rest in the next room. Don't wake him up. Just go see a therapist. Or a dance teacher. Because I don't think you're supposed to bend that way. Huh? No. What is this? Some people really got too much time on their hands. Or in this case, too many nails. Or toenails or teeth. Whatever it is, I bet she ain't afraid to scratch you with it. Oh my god, bro. Okay, some corns. Someone just left out. <laughs> no! Just one little nibble of corn. You're telling me you were too full to finish that? That thing's so small I could use it to floss in between my teeth. That thing's so small that it could literally get stuck in my teeth. Actually, hold on. Oh, yeah? Right here. I found these creepy water cups at work. Why is it creepy? Oh, is there someone nose and mouth on? <laughs> oh! It's the mustache oh. for me. They did her dirty. She's looking like a baby bird trying to get fed from her mommy. Another worm, mom. Please, I'm so hungry. Wait, why is that sock moving? Yeah, seconds on family. I don't want to know. Oh. Okay, what? Oh. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, but he just took off his face like he's morphing into Voldemort. I don't want to know what's under that mask. Unless you're hiding some snacks in there. In that case, I'll take a peep or a Kit Kat. This girl is bending all over the place like a bendy straw. Or a smushed pancake. Or somebody that just oofed to the ground in a squid game. You got option one, two, or three. Pick your favorite. Randomly remembering what sleeping whales look like. Ah, ooh. 
why? I don't like this. They looking like some creepy men in cloaks that will take you into the forest and never bring you back. I think that's also called kidnapping. Ooh. No, this is not some new kind of blue rice. That's a thousand of different termites and bugs all in a pile. Somebody explain that to grandma before she takes a big scoop. <laughs> or before she tries to use it as a clay mask. Anything to look younger, right? What's wrong with this one? I don't get it. <gasps> Oh, she got thousands of teeth. One for every time her daddy left her. Anybody who does this should immediately be banned from McDonald's and told to go over to Burger King because we know that's where all the creeps hang out. Y'all ever wonder why a king would be eating fast food burgers? Yes, here, sir. Here's your Whopper. Uh, no? Get me some filet mignon and lobster tails. You offer me a Whopper again? I'm gonna whop you in the face. This picture shows just how much McDonald's doesn't have to hide that they're putting plastic in their food because their customers are already eating it anyways. Just for funsies. Forget chicken nuggets and french fries. I'm going to eat me some wax paper. Mmm, delicious. When you're eight months pregnant trying to be... Ooh la la. Ah! Oh! Holy! Okay, false alarm family, it's a fake baby! It ain't real! But at this point, I kinda hope it is! Cause then maybe that would make it less weird. Imagine filming that in front of a camera trying to take yourself seriously! How many times did you have to retake the shot cause the baby would just pop out? But honey, it's practice for when the real baby's coming! <laughs> no, sweetie! You're just weird! And maybe not meant to be a mother at all! Child services, where are you at? Cause this lady's unstable! Oh! 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 What is this? Oh! This girl's got bumps inside of her goose bumps. Those things are so close together, it's looking like a scarf my grandma knit. Imagine you're in your house and you see this. Oh! I don't know how many cookie crumbs y'all dropped on the floor to have this many spiders in your house, but all I can say is y'all better move. Because this house ain't yours anymore. The spiders took over. And the money you get from selling your house? Yeah, that goes to the spiders too. What can I say? They beat you in numbers. And also about a couple thousand legs too. <laughs> oh, look at the big blister. I kind of want to pop it. <gasps> Is she going to do it? Is she going to pop it? Go for it. What? They're not even going to show us. Now I am uncomfortable. Uncomfortable because I got to sleep tonight knowing that that bubble is probably still on that girl's leg. Unpopped in a pool of liquid just sitting there. That bubble apparently is pretty good at Monopoly because it just got a get out of jail free card. You ever get a bunch of pimples on your face and say, dang, this is the worst thing that could be under my skin right now. No, no, family. You're wrong. I think this is about a thousand times worse. I don't think I have to explain to you what that thing is. Because y'all can take a guess for yourselves. How it got there? I don't know. Did it get there by accident? Or did this dude take the word Spider-Man a little too seriously? Because technically, I guess you could call him that. But are you going to fight crime and save the world? Yeah, I don't <sighs> think so. So use an imposter. And not the fun kind from among us. Jeez. Uh. What are we cooking today? Oh, Pepto Bismol waffles! Pepto Bismol in a f***ing waffle maker, you stupid <laughs> mother! Stop it! Uh, Mickey, you need to calm down. Did you just get dumped? Cause it seems like you're a little triggered by the color pink. You can't keep doing this to Cookie. You put your sprinkles on that bitch. There's Pepto Bismol in that pal. What the? I'm at Disneyland. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! You can't do this. Oh God, that looks so gross. You make me want to vomit. I'm. <laughs> On second thought, I don't think Mickey's triggered by the breakup. I think he's mad because he realized his wife is shredded up into that pancake. Yeah, she on. Oh, we got a new pair of pink Crocs. Stylish. Who's going to put them on? <gasps> no, what the? Why you got to ruin a perfect pair of kicks like that? On behalf of Crocs and lazy people everywhere, I'm offended. Oh, what are this? And now the socks, too. Ugh. Tell us you got crusty, musty toes without telling us you got crusty, musty toes. Because you practically got cottage cheese on your feet. Ugh. Uh, excuse me, miss. Are you swimming in concrete? Sure, it might feel good now, but how about in 20 years when you're still stuck to the ground? This girl's taking beach bum to a whole new level. Because she's literally trying to make her peach into a brick. 
What in the chicken nugget is this Spider-Man's Thanksgiving? <gasps> I just added a chicken to the octopus head and a lobster? Ugh. Who on earth thought that this was a good idea? Did y'all never hear of cross-contamination? Salmonella? Did you ever eat any food before at all? Because I could promise you that this doesn't taste good. I know he was trying to make this to represent the villains in Spider-Man, but... Spidey's vegan. So good job, you just ruined Thanksgiving. Okay, we got a red pepper and... Uh, what the... Is that bell pepper sweating milk? He's literally crying tears of dairy. He's spitting out cow juice. That's not normal. And probably not sanitary either. This pepper said, fool me once, shame on you, but fool me twice and that's a shame on me. Cause it's breakup season, baby, and I'm sad. I don't know what a cow had to do to that to get that milk in there, but yeah, I don't wanna know. Ugh. Next. This is what happens when you cure an egg in salt. Sounds kind of suspicious, but okay. Okay, it's an egg in salt. <gasps> what the? That just turned into a bouncy ball. A bouncy egg or a, a yolk ball? I don't know, but throw that thing at your brother and he ain't gonna have no yolks no more. And I'm talking about his eyes because you'll probably break them. <laughs> what is that? A cat is trying it too? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cat, I don't think that cooking's in the books for you, my friend. How many times I gotta tell you that you can't just switch ingredients whenever you want to? You can't just substitute salt for cat litter and think it's gonna work. I know I should've stopped trying your recipes after I found that hairball in that cupcake. Ugh. Family, comment down below salty egg as the secret word in today's video, and I'll heart your comment. Or maybe you'll just be stuck with a disgusting bowl of salty eggs. Uh, comment to find out. Our kidnapper's favorite shoes. Huh? <laughs> oh, dang, girl! That thing got busted just like you're about to be? Because it sounds like you were about to commit a crime. I hope smelling your ex's stinky feet in prison is worth it. Oh, a black charcoal ice cream cone! I love that! <gasps> look at all these ice cream balls. Mmm, they look so good! <gasps> wait, why are they putting on so many? Wait, wait, chill out! No, no, not too many! You can't eat an ice cream cone like that! Wait, no, no, this is really overwhelming me now! Okay, how many does he have to do? <gasps> There's like 30 ice cream balls on that one little cone! First of all, how are you supposed to eat that many ice cream balls? Second of all, the weight of the ice cream is too heavy for the weight of the cone! The cone's bound to crack any second! And then who's gonna pick up the ice cream off the floor, huh? You think just because you saw one picture of me licking off peanut butter off my floor that I'd do it? Well, you're wrong. But if we were talking about Nutella, maybe you'd be right! Yeah, I probably have to think about my priorities. <laughs> Okay, we got some Cheerios. <gasps> what the heck is that? <gasps> that girl has a whole flippin' boiled egg in her cereal. No. Girl, don't look at me like that, like you're some average normal human. No, no, we passed that stage a long time ago when you decided to mix chickens with Cheerios. They don't mix. And now you're giving me the thumbs up like I'm supposed to approve. Now nah, you're psycho, goodbye. Hope the rotten egg breath is worth it. Okay, I know this is supposed to be ice cream, but tell me that all of those red dots don't look like chicken pox. Yeah, not appetizing. I don't know why, but when I think of ice cream and contagious disease, I'm not hungry anymore. Who would have thought? Why did you fill up a whole toilet with shaving cream that's so disgusting? <gasps> oh, wait, that was kind of satisfying. I know I'm supposed to be angry, but look at the smoothness. Oh, mm, not on a book. Uh, they didn't even smooth it out properly. Okay, I went from being mad to satisfied to mad to mad again. <sighs> Last time I checked, you don't need to shave a book. And the only one overly hairy in this situation is you. So maybe save that cream for yourself and uh, find yourself a razor. I need a new book. Jeez. And the only thing worse than wasting shaving cream is eating it. Oh wait, maybe that's not shaving cream and that's just chalk? Bro, the bright side to this situation is that your mouth can finally match your personality. Dry. Who hates their parents so much that they decided that they want to burn down their house? And to do it with the beloved ice cream bar? To be honest, I don't know which one's more rude. Disrespecting the ice cream cone or losing your parents half a million dollars? Ooh. This takes popcorn shrimp uh, to the new level, and what is that level, you might ask? Um, the insanity one. Cause that looks disgusting. I can smell that stank from here. Not angry, just disappointed. Okay, we got some AirPods, okay. I have those AirPods. Wait, what are you doing to the AirPod? 
Oh, bro, chill! What have AirPods ever done to you? Better question, what has an apple ever done to you? An apple a day keeps the insanity away. So next time your mama tells you you can't buy the new iPhone, tell her if she don't do it, you don't want to see the consequences. Whoa! Ugh. I woke up one morning and my trunk was covered with more bees than usual. What does she mean more than usual? So I ran outside in my pajamas to see what was going on. What the? A swarm of bees that I caught the night before was leaving their hive and swarming again. I tried to offer them a new home, but they weren't moving in very quickly. This told me they wanted to go somewhere else. It was a race between me and the bees. <laughs> This is so messed up. I had to find the queen bee before the bees found another place to fly off to. After a few minutes, I found her and I put her in a clip to keep her safe. But before I could put her in the hive, I had bees swimming all over my hands. As soon as I put the queen in the hive, the bees began to go right in. I still had some bees on my hand, but they weren't leaving because they could still smell their queen on me. <gasps> so I shook them off so they could find her. Within minutes, the entire colony was rushing to get into the hive. You could see how fast they were moving and how the queen was covered in bees <gasps> then i just waited for all the bees to get back into their hive save the bees are you serious that's how the story wanted to end y'all got me all hyped up for no reason i was hoping the queen bee would escape the hive and come out as a monster and eat everybody's heads off that would be more interesting but yeah fine whatever let's save the bees whoa this video will ruin your day we gotta do with some bananas and a rotten one what are you doing with that banana? What are you doing with that banana, boy? Because if it goes anywhere other than the trash, I'm going to be mad. Oh, wait. That's the whole point of this video. JK, JK. I'll be <clears throat> happy. What's he doing? No. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's, um, he did the whole peel. <clears throat> Amazing. So many nutrients. A banana a day keeps the normal people away. Because you crazy. Curse photos to ruin your friend's day. Ah! <laughs> That's a foot. I ain't trying to roll a foot in my mouth. That stinky breath for life. Okay, what is this? Vaseline flavored Oreos? Bro. Might not taste good, but it'll sure moisturize your lips. Tasting like a juicy Oreo cookie? I'm not mad about it. Okay, Tic Tacs. Oh, those aren't Tic Tacs. Those are ant tax, ant attacks. The ants are attacking us. Why would somebody do that? That makes me so freaking. <laughs> it makes me so happy that the ants have a home. Good job to the dude who wasted three hours picking up all these ants and putting them in there. Great way to spend your time. Not like you should have been doing homework or something. Okay, what is this? Does someone want to explain to me what this is? Pasta feet, spaghetti feet. Is there some kind of joke that I'm missing here? Family, comment down below pasta as a secret word for today's video. And I'll like your comment. I might even ship you a bowl of spaghetti with meatballs too. Oh, ketchup on ice cream. That is a crime. I'm actually mad about that. I can't believe somebody would do that. That is so gross. Oh, hey, family. Yeah, okay, I know I got mad. Whatever, take off a life. If that is how people are living nowadays, then I don't want to live. If we're putting ketchup on ice cream, then we might as well put relish on our toothbrushes. Brush our teeth with some nice sour pickles. Mmm, salty and bitter. Just how I like to start my mornings. Try not to get scared. <gasps> ah, this is a balloon and I do not like balloons. Okay, I need to pause this. Family, I'm going to tell you a secret. One of my biggest fears in the whole entire world that I have never told any of you before is that I'm scared of balloons popping. One time when I was like four years old, a balloon just popped in my face and I got some in my mouth and I almost choked on it. I'm not even joking. So ever since that day, I do not like balloons and especially not ones that are about to be blown up party toy more like party torture okay let's watch it okay oh it's getting so big why is it getting blown up like that oh what kind of shape is that that looks like an upside down bowling pin except if you hit that with a bowling ball the only person getting a strike is me oh wait sorry did i say strike i meant stroke i'm scared okay Mm. Ah! Okay, that is not natural for a balloon to be that size. I am sorry. That is not cool. Why is it just... What? <gasps> oh! Not mad. Just peed my pants a bit. That doesn't count, right? Oh, 
Oh, a metal press. Oh, it is going to be fun. Wait, the heck? We got gypped. Okay, the kinetic sand. This will be cool. <gasps> Uh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Eminem, if I could call you that. You think I just wasted hundreds of Eminems in that sheen for fun? Those things could have been melting in my mouth. Sugar rushing down my throat. But no, we did an experiment instead. And y'all failed me. Maybe I'm gonna switch to Skittles now instead. I'm mad at you. <gasps> no. Ah! <laughs> did I just say I'm mad? Ah! Second heart take off the board. We got one left. And lots more clips to see. Perfect. Ooh, these cakes are so fun at Christmas time. I think they're called Swiss cakes or log cakes. Ooh, that was a perfect satisfying cut. <gasps> Yo, what are you doing? Why did you cut it that way? And not only did you cut it that way, you used your other hand to smush the other side. Fine, if that's how you want to cut the cake, then I support you. I'm not triggered. I'm not triggered. Try not to get mad. Okay, you got some cereal and milk action. He is putting the milk in first before he puts his cereal in and... Ay! Okay, this is my thoughts. It wouldn't have been so bad if you put the milk in first and then the cereal after and then it all mixed together and was like a normal bowl of cereal. But look at this. There's so much cereal on top that you can't even see the milk on the bottom. That is not a good ratio, my friend. That cereal is drier than the cookies I bake for my family at Christmas time. Crumbly and just not so good. Try not to get mad. Okay, we got some headphones. Okay, ah, they're all tangled everywhere, but it's okay. He's still going to use them. That's fine. I'm just going to plug it into your phone and everything is good. Sir, sir, I know you know where the headphone jack is. Just plug it into your phone. Why are you struggling so much? Okay, okay, he got it in. We're good. We're good. We're good. Except what I'm not good with is why does this dude have himself as his screensaver? Buddy, buddy. We both know that's kind of weird. A little narcissistic, but more weird. You're telling me that your face is the last thing you want to see at night and the first thing you want to see in the morning? Are y'all getting married soon? If so, invite me to the wedding. If there's only one of you getting married, then that means I have to spend less on your wedding gift. Ooh, pizza. Okay, that's a good slice. No, that's not a good slice. Man, who cuts it from the middle like that? Okay, we got an orange. Sir, that orange is not an apple. I don't know what you thought it was, but it's not an apple, dude. You can't take a bite out of it like that. Should be illegal. Try not to get triggered. Oh, he just washed his sleeves. Ew. Why are you using your spoon the wrong way around? How are you gonna scoop up your fruity pebbles like that? Uh. A banana? <gasps> Okay, why do you eat it like that, sir? That's just wasteful. Oh! He just put peanut butter on his face like moisturizer. Or maybe he's just keeping it there for later as a snack. It's so kind of smart. All you need is a couple of crackers in your hand and... Mmm, delicious. And also kind of hairy. Forgot that my beard hair mixed in with the peanut butter. Okay, ball is dropping. <gasps> we missed it. What? Okay. Wait, I get it. They're cutting it right before the most satisfying part of the video. Oh, man. That's annoying. Whoever made this TikTok gets three years in jail. Mm. Try not to get uncomfy. Okay, let's try. <gasps> uh, fork and, like, sauce. <gasps> ah, that's a bug on your toothbrush. The thing you're literally supposed to clean your teeth with. Yo, imagine you're just trying to clean your teeth one day and you're bringing the toothbrush up to your mouth and... Ah! I'm trying to clean my teeth, not eat a second pair of teeth. That bug looks evil. Photos to easily ruin somebody's day. Ah, that's a spider and a coffee. Olives and yogurt. This, I don't know what it is, but I don't want to. Slushy ice cream, but the dirty slush from the roads. Dude, that makes me feel wrong in so many ways. This reminds me of crazy Canadians who like to do summer activities in the winter. You know, like they wear flip-flops in the winter. Shorts in the winter. Apparently eat dirty infected ice cream in the winter. Just fun, you know? Canadian things. Ah, that's disturbing. Hair on a toothbrush. Wow! <laughs> Those are baby macarons. And I'm officially disturbed. Yeah, okay, I don't, uh, okay, ugh. I don't like this anymore, family. I'm not even mad at this point. I'm just 
scared? Because those things are planning something and you ain't gonna know until you eat them and they're already in your stomach. And by then it's too late because you ate their heads, but they're gonna eat your whole body from the inside out. And I can most definitely say that that's worse. But don't try that at home. You don't wanna know. We all got that one friend who likes really disgusting food combinations together. And it looks like the next hype is watermelon and mustard. Oh no, don't do it, dude. Please don't do it. No. Oh, please, no. I don't even like mustard like that, so. I do like mustard like that. And oh, he did it. No. Oh my god. I know this is supposed to make me angry, but to see the pain on this dude's face kind of just made me laugh instead. Does that make me evil? But he should have thought of that before combining mustard and watermelon in the same bite. Those two things go together just as well as my 80-year-old grandpa goes with showering. They just don't mix. Here we got a case of a very poorly constructed stovetop. Doesn't it just grind your gears that the circle doesn't line up with the heat ring? I would rather place my raw hand on that heated stovetop more than I would want to see that ugly looking thing every day. But I'm not mad. Not at all. Are you? Now, this doesn't make me angry, but it does make me think that whoever was constructing this wall wasn't getting paid enough. They're about three quarters of the way done, and then they were like, what am I doing here getting paid negative five dollars an hour when I could be at home with my lovely dog drinking a brewski on the porch? Screw it. I don't even care no more. This picture is like a bad game of Tetris gone wrong. You thought you could pull off expert level, but you're really just a noob. And why is this girl looking at me so creepy like? She's looking so deeply into my soul like I just stole her boyfriend or something. Lady, I don't want your boyfriend Jimmy. And to be honest, with that ugly of a dress thing you got going on, I don't think he wants you either. Ooh. Now this picture is straight up disrespect to Italian people everywhere. How are you gonna disrespect a pizza like that? Doing this is just like spoiling the ending of a movie, putting your hand on somebody's nose just as they're about to sneeze, taking the front seat from somebody after they've already called shotgun. It's just not cool, okay? And practically unforgivable. Now, if that stuff didn't make you angry, look at this. Is it a hot dog? Is it a pizza? Is it a sandwich? We don't know. Will we ever know? Probably not. Is it making me angry? Yeah, kinda. But some things in life are just meant to remain a mystery. A mystery that'll probably give you a heart attack or send you to the hospital because of all the mystery meat going on in there. Stay away. That one girl in class five minutes before the bell rang. Wait, that's not even a girl. What's he doing? Okay, we got the hand sanny. Standard. <laughs> oh! Okay, we got the evil eyes. Okay, I see what he's doing here. He's trying to be that one girl who tries to get ready for the end of class before class is even over. Disrupting the whole rest of the class. <laughs> oh yeah, girl, that one little Cheeto you're eating is so important. <gasps> Gotta shake them keys. Uh, and a little bit of setting spray too. <laughs> Dude, I'm laughing right now, but I swear to gosh, uh, if this girl was in my class, I would be fuming. She does so many steps before the end of class that you would think she's filming a nighttime routine to make a YouTube video. It really ain't that serious. She trying to hurry up so fast when we all know good and well that she gonna be sitting on that bus ride home doing nothing, playing Candy Crush the whole ride home. Here we got somebody who had a very unfortunate situation with a piece of Lego. Now, family, it is not real. It is special effects. But tell me that this doesn't trigger you just a small little bit to all the times that you were younger playing with Lego and accidentally stepping on a piece and literally feel like you're better off in heaven than to endure the pain of that ever again. That was legit. And not in a good way. Dang. 
Dang you, Lego. Why are the things that are always so dangerous gotta be the most fun? Life isn't fair, they say. Okay, this is supposed to be 10 hours of very annoying sound. I don't know how legit this is because if you heard any sound for 10 hours, you're telling me you wouldn't be just a bit pissed? Oh, gosh. Oh, God, what is this? Okay, this sounds like somebody plummeting to their... Oof! Somebody falling off a cliff. Air escaping out of a balloon ever so slowly. The sound of your laptop breaking when you were in a very important game of Roblox. Oh no, I don't like this. Yeah, okay, no. Cut, 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 cut. Why is it getting worse? Why is it getting worse? Why is it getting worse? Cut, no, no. We're done. Very annoying. Very angry. Comment down below, family, if you've gotten angry so far. Or if you're still smiling like you promised in the intro. And speaking of annoying things, Trim Trim. You already know that they made a video on top 10 annoying things. And to be honest, it doesn't really make sense. Their idea of annoying is her friend sending her audio messages on text smelling weird questionable detergents in somebody else's bathroom eating soap trim trim that ain't annoying that's just weird but i guess it did make me angry so they kind of succeeded oh trim trim y'all are a different breed aren't you Okay, we got Skittles and M&M's. I like both of those. Not annoying, not angry. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. They are not mixing them together. No, they are not. That is illegal. They did. That has to be the ugliest and most wrong rainbow that I have ever seen. I'd be better off using that bowl as a swimming pool for my pet rock than I would to eat those things together. Disgusting. Got an artiste that works. Drawing a line. Pretty straight line. Parallel with the paper. Good job. Everything seems to be going good, no? <gasps> and that's where you lost me. Oh, no. No, you are not peeling an egg like this. This is what I imagine my brain to look like when somebody asks me a math question. It just gets all gross and messy and all mushed up. Yeah, it doesn't go too well. No, don't. Oh, 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 yeah. Eh, no, oh, please. No, stop, stop it, stop it. Are you done? Oh, it's over. It's over, family. We just got tin file. And why is he eating that? Okay, no, I'm done. I'm done with this. No, we're not even going to continue that. Because clearly Buddy was never taught how to put away his food in a fridge on the countertop. Instead, Buddy just wants to store it in his stomach. With all that shiny reflective paper, Buddy's going to have a disco party inside of him. And if he is, I would at least like to catch an invite to the party. Is that too much to ask for? Making people mad day one. Oh no, buddy, you know that it does not get plugged in there. What's wrong about this? <gasps> Wait, why are you making other people mad if you're just wetting your own sleeve? Wouldn't that piss you off? Drawing on somebody's wooden furniture with Sharpie? That's savage. <gasps> and squeezing out food from a baby? That is just taking it too far. But he's out here trying to starve a baby. <laughs> this is a try not to get mad challenge. Not a try not to go to jail challenge. Because that's evil. I don't know what makes me want to puke more. Knowing that you took that away from a poor helpless baby. Or the look of this baby food coming out of that bottle. Because it looks like what comes out of my brother's mouth after he's had too many caramel pudding. January 25th, 2020. I'll never forget the day. Ugh. This dude is swimming in a pool with multiple tigers. Holy chicken nugget, that is insane. But I'm not gonna say the W word. I'm just gonna say cool. Or maybe stupid because did you see the tigers you know the thing that likes to eat people he just dove in that water and the tigers are following him like they're playing a game of tag tag you're it oh. i think i just scratched his head off yeah whatever he was just a human his idea of hunting is buying a two dollar steak at walmart disgrace wow that is a lot of books oh my god <gasps> And real deep. Wait a second. I said, whoa, does that count as wow? <gasps> Did that one count as? No, oh, man, fine. We'll take one life off the board. Only this time. But seriously, look at this book structure. How long do you think? <gasps> it even goes up high too. How 
long would that even take someone to make? And more importantly, do you think they read all those books before gluing them together into a house? Because if not, that is a waste of paper, my friend. And if they did actually read the books, then good for you, bro. You probably a genius. I'm not sure what's more weird about this picture. The fact that there's a creepy dude with a green mask on. Or the fact that there's a giant slinky standing up as tall as a giant skyscraper. I mean, I know you like playing with it up and down the stairs when you were younger. But that doesn't mean you gotta make it 50 flights of stairs high. Too big. Okay, I'm really curious to see what happens. <gasps> the car just... Whoa! I'm not saying anything, but what in the chicken nugget is this? Wait a second. Is that a giant nerd's rope? Can someone explain to me why I want to eat it? Slinky down and sugar up. I want some candy, but maybe not from that dude. Yeah, I think he's crazy. When life gives you a helping hand up, Apparently you climb it all the way up and look out across the world. But maybe don't look down because, girl, you high. One wrong slip in that dude's palm and you are finished. So uh, let's hope the dude doesn't have sweaty hands. Ugh. Karate chop. Oh, it's just an egg. Whoa. Whoa. That is insane. What kind of crazy robot cyborg type of egg is this? They were like, how many kids do you want, Mrs. Chicken? One, two, three. I no, no, thank you. I have 50. And then can you believe that this dude had the audacity to crack that egg open? Spoiled the mama chicken's hopes and dreams. She was trying to give birth to a chicken baseball team. And now you ruined it. Hope the omelet was worth it. These are twin brothers who are both makeup artists and they do their makeup separately on their own faces, but then they come together and create one really big makeup look. That's really freaking cool. Okay, let's see what they're doing right now. They're drawing lines across their face and I guess blue lines across their face. Oh, it just went up to his forehead. Holy, now he's coloring himself black on his forehead. Oh, I am really excited to see what this scene is. Ah, uh, the dude just put paint in his ear. He does feel uncomfortable. And then also kind of nasty too when you take off your headphones and it looks like you got two burnt potatoes on each end. But he's gonna need a year-long subscription to Q-tips after this. And it still probably won't be clean. Cause y'all know those Q-tips don't work. All right, let's see what they got. I don't even know what this is. Whoa! I was not expecting that. And hold a second, family. I just said, well, which actually means wow. And then that's, you know, it's wow. We're trying not to say wow. And I just said, wow. But back to the photo. Dude, that is crazy. One brother is pouring out water from his half a head into the other half a head of the other brother. Hashtag family things. I mean, it's nice that he's sharing. Mi agua es su agua, bro. What's mine is yours. But I don't know if the first thing that I would want from my brother is liquid that's literally coming out of his nose. I'm surprised the color is blue and not green or yellow. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Family, comment down below nose water as a secret word of today's video and I'll heart your comment. Or maybe you'll just get a stuffy nose. Comment to find out. Okay, we got some slime. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Sir. Why is your slime turning into a whole flippin' pillowcase? Or a whole flippin' bed sheet? Cause that thing's huge! How is he doing it? I don't think that's possible, family. I think that's magic. Black magic or good magic, I don't know. I hope it's the good one because I get a little scared. <laughs> Whoa, did he turn that big fluffy thing into that creature looking thing? Why does that look like a melting version of an Among Us character? <laughs> but it's rainbow and that's cool. Wait, that's it? What is that supposed to be? I mean, I like it. It's definitely beautiful. But Mr. Art Man, sir, I'm confused. I don't know what it is, but can I eat it? I'm just asking for a friend. Look at the picture of family just looking at that makes me nervous, but also really excited. What's gonna happen? Are the two bubbles gonna pop? Or are they gonna stay intact because they're so strong and no match for all of those nails? Comment down below what you think's gonna happen. Pop or flop? Oh, let's see, let's see. <gasps> the nails went completely through the bubbles. Are those gel bubbles? Or Orbeez? Oh, I love Orbeez. And since I love Orbeez so much, I'm kind of mad that he just destroyed two of them. I could have played with those. And now you just ruined my fun. <laughs> I don't know what
what this is, but if it's not a Cheeto dusted corn dog, then I'm gonna be a little disappointed. I am very confused, but oh, apparently there's a second flavor. Oh, I think that's made of glass. Like glass blowing art. I mean, pretty epic, pretty epic. Can I use it as a bowl to hold my corn dogs? And maybe a second smaller one to hold my mustard. Mm. What is going on here? Oh, he made a mold. I mean, wait, is that of his hand or is it his foot? Oh, it's of his hand. Okay, that's actually really cool. He made a candle of his hand holding something, but cut that something in half and then made that into a second candle. And I don't know the specifics, but I know it's cool. And since I'm obviously one of like the coolest people ever, like in this world, country, city, this room, coolest person in this room. I know what cool is. And that's it. And this is not, I, I mean, this, this is. Uh, holy, uh, I'm not going to say the word, but I really want to because I don't know what that is. But I think I do know what that is. I think it's when you accidentally do a bobo on your hand from a fire. A water blister. Sir, I get it's the middle of winter and you're dying to be back on a beach in the water again. But that doesn't mean you gotta make a swimming pool on top of your hand. It's not the same. And I don't think it's sanitary either. Because that's just icky. But seriously, you should probably get that checked out. Or just pop it with a needle and see what happens. But don't try that at home. I don't think it's very safe or whatever. This dude draws full portraits on people's dirty cars. And it looks like he's drawing a dog and it already looks so good. <gasps> Holy heck, that looks so realistic. <laughs> Imagine you're just inside Walmart doing some groceries and walk out to your car looking like a full-on masterpiece. The heck? You just walk up to your car with your bag of Eggos. Drop them on the ground because you're so shocked of what you just saw. That, my friends, is a time that you would definitely let go your Eggo. Because I think the dog drawing is cooler. Whoa. Never thought I'd say that one. And this, my friends, is what I would do to your face if you don't let go of my Eggo. Oh. <laughs> Bam slash boom. You can't even eat my Eggos if you wanted to now. That just broke your stomach. Whoop. Apparently, this video took 20 hours to make. <gasps> but he just made the whole flipping Milky Way, Northern Lights, and Galaxy from the palm of his hand? Sir, are you a video editor or God? Because that looked too good not to be real. I don't know what this dude is doing on this circle spinny thing. <gasps> Holy! How is he running on that? Whoa! It's like he's spinning. Oh, cool. And I just said, wow, but I don't even care because, whoa. W-O, wow. I'm impressed. Wait a second, family. Did I just lose all my lives? Do I have a half-life left or not? I don't remember. Can somebody ask the cat? Or maybe the dog from that really dirty car? My human brain ain't working. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna say that I lost. Like most things in my life. But that's not the point, family. Comment down below if you won today's challenge. Let me know how many lives you have left or how many lives you lost. I have a surprise for you. Oh gosh, I don't like these kind of surprises. He's opening something. <gasps> oh, what is that? No, 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 no. We are not starting the video like this. I quit. Because apparently showering in a regular shower was too clean. Lady had to bathe in a toilet. Mmm, chocolate stains and yellow Gatorade. Just the way I like it. Ugh. Oh. Ah, what is this? Uh, I'm confused. <gasps> oh. That's just a cute little puppy. Only thing I'm uncomfortable with that is that I was so close to his mouth that I feel like I just kissed him. Me puffing up my tongue. What? Wait, what? Um... Excuse me, sir. Why does your tongue look like it has a golf ball stuck under it? I don't know if you know the rules of the game, but you can only get a hole in one on the golf course. Not in your mouth. I'm disturbed. Let's move on. 
This is what happens when you go one too many days without washing your shoes. You get devil horns, but on your feet. Those toes be so stinky that they turned into a demon. I don't know if this guy thinks he's at the gym holding a dumbbell or if he thinks he's holding a stroller with a baby inside. Hate to break it to you, sir, but you lost your kid in aisle five two hours ago. Yeah, he gone. But apparently the groceries in that cart are stained. Oh no, not this girl again. I saw her make a chocolate sundae last time and now she's making a rainbow sundae. Ugh. Ooh, with gummy worms. Wait, no, it likes it's in a toilet, it's in a toilet. Oh, this makes me feel so uncomfortable. With fruit punch? Okay, call me crazy, but that kind of looks tasty. <laughs> But I feel so wrong for wanting it. At least it's a hit at the dinner party, though. That's what we call a quality host. What is this family? A banana pod? A peel phone? I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna guess that the sound coming out of those headphones will be a little mushy. Ugh. This is what I would imagine would happen if a Christmas tree threw up in your face. I don't know what was on your Christmas list this year, but I think the present you're gonna get is blindness. A peanut butter and bread fidget spinner? Why would you do that? Why? To be honest, this makes me uncomfortable because why you gotta waste some perfectly good food? As someone who eats a lot and is always hungry, I would like for you to spin that thing somewhere close to my mouth because I'm gonna take a bite out of it. Or all of it. Depends how good you made it. Okay, we got a girl with curly hair. <gasps> And I don't see any of her hair in sight. The cockroach has probably ate all of it. And to be honest, I think her face is next. I would say I hope she's okay and doesn't get eaten by these roaches. But to be honest, after looking at her eyes, I think they already got her. That girl has no soul. If you're looking to save money, I don't think that that's the way to do it. It does keep your cash safe from your sneaky fingered little grandpa. But I guess it's up to you if, uh... One cent, is it? Is worth 50% of your eyesight. I don't think so, I don't think so. But whatever you choose, make sure to look at me in the eyes when you say it. Oh wait, with that coin you can't. Let's eat dinner. Okay, I love food. What's he got there? Some bread, some eggs, and a banana? Oh, he's going for the Sammy. Mmm. <gasps> no. We got bamboozled! That was bread soaked in water! Oh, I know you're not gonna- <gasps> He did it, he did it, he did it! He just ate the peel with his mouth and an egg with his- <gasps> mm. Yeah, if you'll excuse me, family, I just lost my appetite. And I think I'm about to throw up, too. Oh! No, 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 we are done. We're done without- No, no, why are we still looking at it? Stop looking at it, family! You stop! No, I'm not stopping, you stop first! Ugh! They probably want alone time anyways. That horse was going in. Okay, butter hands. Butter hands? This is a joke for like butterfingers. <gasps> I. Ooh. Why? <gasps> ew. Ew. I'm actually disgusted. Ugh. Ugh. Sir, you know that's not the way to eat popcorn. Movie theaters across the country would be ashamed of you. But I guess they do say don't tell the chef how to cook, only tell the chef how it tastes. So I mean, if the popcorn and butter like that tastes good, then uh, go off, king? Uh. So I'm cooking this beef burger. Who can tell me what the heck are these? Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say definitely not beef burgers. That thing's got more pimples than me after a night of eating pizza and ice cream. Yeah, the dairy doesn't do me good. They might even pop in your mouth. Wow, look at all of this alphabet lore slime. I have never seen anything like that before. There's even sprinkles and strings inside of there. And family, later on in today's video, we are gonna have to find all of the alphabet lore slime in between all of these toys. So many toys, so many alphabet lore letters, so much fun. And we're even gonna be mixing them all together at the very end. So stay tuned. Okay, what kind of food do we have here? Oh, is this some kind of pastry wood jam? Oh, family, we have to decide if this is real dessert or if it's just slime. 
Ah, okay, Baby Nuggy says he thinks it's slime. But what do you think, family? Comment down below. I think it's real. You can't fake strawberry jam. It should be illegal to do that because it's so tasty. But if you can't eat it, then that should be a crime. Family, comment down below slime as our secret word of today's video. And me and Baby Nuggy will heart your comment. All right, family, let's see if this is real food or slime food. <gasps> food. One point, baby Nuggy. Zero points for me. Baby Nuggy, sometimes you are so smart, I don't know what to do with you. Or actually, maybe hey. I do. You gotta meet the fam. New members are joining the family. And even a secret item in the pocket, too. Meet baby Nuggy and the family hoodie. Both of these items available this November 4th in the family Nugget collection. Oh, family, I got my family hoodie and my baby Nuggy chicken nugget. And now this November 4th, it's time for you to get yours. On shopalexia.com. See you there. Oh, next up, we got some ramen noodles. Oh, with some eggs. Mm, family, I don't know. Do we think these ones are real food or slime food? I'm not sure. Well, actually, judging from the fact that those ramen noodles kind of look short and stubby like McDonald's french fries, I think it might be slime food. Baby Nuggie, put in your gas quick, 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 quick. Oh, you think it's slime food, too? Okay, copycat. And let's see the answer. <gasps> Whoa, it is slime food. Hey, 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 hey. One point, Alexia, and um, I guess two points, Baby Nuggy. He's still winning. Family, are you guessing all of these games at home? Make sure you keep track of how many points you get, and then we can compare at the end of the video. Ooh, okay, now we are in a kitchen. <gasps> We're cracking some eggs, oil, salt. Okay, family, um, do we think all of these things are slime? Or do oh, wait a second. Look what happened when he mixed everything into a ball. It kind of looked like a giant ball of slime. Okay, he's dicing up some onions, or should I say slime? Okay, yeah, fake pastry dough and fake cheese filling on the inside. And oh, now he's boiling fake pasta. Oh, baby doggy, what do you think? Real, real. No, no, baby doggy is clearly slime. This cannot not be real. Oh, man. That is real pasta. Baby Nuggy, you were right again. Three points, Baby Nuggy. One point, me. What? <laughs> Family, I guess it's time to roll me up a piece of L-shaped slime and pop it on my forehead. I'm starting to be a loser. Uh, whoa, pink colored cookies. <gasps> that pink is the same color as P from the alphabet. Lauren is so pretty. <gasps> Oh, we're making all kinds of different cookies. Oh, man. These gotta be real cookies. They look so tasty. That was a real food? That was slime food. Oh, man. This game is impossible. But luckily, Baby Nuggie didn't have time to guess. So he doesn't get a point. And neither do I. Oh, a Christmas cup of Santa Claus. Oh, and we're adding in a bunch of hot chocolate, whipped cream, candy sprinkles on top, m and and a candy cane. What do you think, family? Is this real food or slime food? I think it has to be real food. What do you think, baby nuggy? Slime! Oh, yeah, you think it's slime. You think everything's slime. Okay, let's see. And it's... <gasps> Holy no, 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 no. What the chicken nugget? This one was the craziest one so far. The Santa cup just... Turned into slime! How did that even happen? Oh my gosh, and talk about satisfying. Four points, baby nuggy, two points, me. Okay, okay, family, this next one is super duper hard. What about this Starbucks tall dice glass cup thing? Okay, we put in the ice. We're pouring in the vanilla flavored coffee. Mmm, tasty. Oh man, family, what do you think? Is she gonna hold it and then squish it with her hands because it's gonna turn into slime? To be honest, I actually think this one is slime, but I'm gonna say it's real because I kind of hope it's real so I can just drink it later. All right, family, let's see if she's about to squish it in. Oh, she just didn't squish it. That means it's real. A point for me and no points for Baby Nuggy. <laughs> just kidding, Baby Nuggy. I love you. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see it. Oh, we got some brown sugar, some Skippy peanut butter, eggs, baking soda, some chocolate chips. Are we making chocolate chip cookies? Whoa, Baby Nuggy. Are those real? Oh, it's slime. Okay, no point for either of us. 
Okay, now we got flour eggs again, or we're making some kind of batter. Oh, are we making pancakes? Nutella was looking a little suspicious. And trust me, family, I eat a lot, 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 a of Nutella. All the time, breakfast, lunch, dinner, sometimes I put it on top of Baby Nuggie's head and lick it right off. And Baby Nuggie, you think that's real food? Yes. Okay, let's see. And it's, it's slime, it's slime, it's slime. Another point for me, no point for Baby Nuggie. And how many points do you have, family? Comment down below. Oh, are we making a cake? Oh, we just frosted it. <gasps> Family, uh, I don't know about you, but this kind of looks like an Oreo cake. Oh, my chicken nugget. We're adding Oreos inside. And now for the final reveal, we're about to slice open the cake. Oh, but first, you got to tell me if you think it's real food or slime food. I think it's real food, but to be honest, I kind of hope it's slime. Because if it's slime, we could... Mush up the whole cake and squish it with our hands. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if this cake is real food or slime food. <gasps> no way! The cake is slime. It's not a real delicious Oreo cake that we could have maybe ate if uh, this thing wasn't slime. And uh, maybe we could have had it at my birthday party. No, actually, I'm kind of sad now. <gasps> Donkey Donuts. Coffee I don't really care about. Whoa, a giant donut! Oh, man, family, that looks so good! And so thick! <laughs> don't we think this is real food or slime food? I'm gonna say slime. Baby Nuggie says... Slime too! Okay, okay, let's see. <gasps> look at all those sprinkles. Actually, maybe I'm thinking it's real now. Because the sprinkles look so good. <gasps> the donut is slime! And even the coffee cup too! No way! This is the craziest slime food I've ever seen. But also the tastiest. Okay, what do we got here? <gasps> Three giant fluffy pancakes. And some honey and berries and whipped cream. Oh, man, this looks so good. Let's take a bite. I don't even have a guess for this one. This looks so good. My mouth is drooling. And let's see what it is. <gasps> no, there's no way. Oh, man. I thought that one for sure gonna be real food. That was slime? I feel cheated. I feel scammed. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. We got some eggies. Dipped something in some batter. And I'm confused with this one. What are we making? <gasps> oh, man, we're making chicken nuggies. Oh, man, I want to eat them so bad. No. They're slime, family. They're slime. Baby nuggie, hide your eyes. Your brother and sister just got turned into slime. You might as well say they turned into an alien. Baby Nuggie did not see that. Okay. Ah. I guess when you tap a baby, they just burp. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do one more for all the marbles. Chocolate. Butter. Chocolate sauce. Oh, man. I think we're making brownies. Or chocolate cake. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're even pouring in a brownie batter. With giant M&M's on top. Is this real brownie or is this slime? Family, comment down below what you think. I think it's real. Baby Nugget thinks it's slime. Okay, slime. And now let's see the final results. We're cutting it open. What? It was slime this whole time. No, 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 no. Baby Nugget, how did you know? Family, he is just so super duper smart. I can't even with him. You have to get him this November 4th. And the family hoodie with the secret compartment. Hello. Oh, what's that? You want the family hoodie shipped to your house? Okay, we can do that. Secret pocket nuggie. Family, baby nuggie wins. How many points did you get? Comment down below. Family, now it is time we go on our magical mystery hunt for the alphabet lore slime. We got Q, M, J, D, P, N, N, O. Another hit where did all the slime go, family? If you see them, take your finger and point at the screen. Because you got to help me out. I don't know where any of them are. There's too many really cool toys here. I'm getting distracted. I just want to play with them. Whoa, look at all the solar planets. Is that a bunny or a chicken or a... Hmm. Oh, we found letter N. Woohoo! All right, family. We found one of the things of slime. And now we got to find more. Q, Q, we found Q. 
Oh, family, it must have been with your help pointing at the screen. Oh, man, I found C over there. Look, it's yellow. Or Oh, oh wait. No, that's not C. That's just a yellow flower. But we found P. Okay, we got to keep looking. Do you recognize any of these toys? Oh, it's a squid. But under the squid was letter J. Oh, man, family, we only have a couple more slimes to find. Hurry up. Use your magical goggles. We found him! And look, it's A! Oh, nope, that's a spicy pepper. Oh, we found J! Oh, no, that's SpongeBob. Right there, right there, I see it! It's D! And now there's one more hiding somewhere in this alphabet lore clay room. I see it right there. Do you see it, family? It's O! And now we have all of the different packets of slime. And now it's time to mix them together. Oh! She just popped open M. Do you hear that? Oh. Ah, it just popped open. Next up, we got Q. Oh, we cut Q open with scissors. Oh, that one sounded crazy. Family, I can't wait to see all of these slime colors mixed together in one. Purple J. Oh, that pop was so good. N. <laughs> Gushy. Two more slimes to go, family. Ooh, D. Whoa, look at all the glitter inside of him. And on my last favorite one, P. Oh, and now it's time to mix all of them together. Are you ready, family? Grab your fingers and squish. Start squishing, family. Squish, squish. Wow! So cool! And that family is how you make alphabet lore slime. Hey! All right, family, if you thought that was cool, look at all of these alphabet lore mystery boxes. Not only are they mystery boxes, they're treasure chests. And not only are there secret stuff in there, there is something secret that is also super squishy. But family, I'm not going to tell you what those things are. Because first we have to find each one of the treasure chests. Oh, we're in a park. Do you see any of them? <gasps> Wait, what's that? We found the tea treasure chest. Okay, keep looking. And there's K. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Baby Nugget, do you see any of them? <gasps> Baby Nugget spotted L. Okay, okay, keep looking, family. Remember, if you see it, point at it with your screen. You. Wow, what a beautiful day at the park. It's so pretty. A beautiful day to find some <gasps> PNR treasure chest. Ooh, a couple more to find. We found E. B -b 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 <laughs> because we found S. Oh, we found J. No, 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 for N. I for E. E for I'm excited <gasps> because we found all of the alphabet lore mystery boxes. All right, family, are you ready to see what's inside of them? It's super squishy, but it's not slime. It's Orby. Oh, man, and we have pink Orbeez for P. Orange Orbeez for N. Purple Orbeez for J. Fire truck red Orbeez for R. Cherry red Orbeez for A. Greenish yellow Orbeez for L. Blue Orbeez for U. Ooh, teal Orbeez for E. Green Orbeez for S. S. <gasps> Ooh, black Orbeez for T. Pearly white Orbeez. Oh, man, look at these blue Orbeez for B. And now the very last one. We got yellow Orbeez for K. And now get your hands ready, family, because we're about to add in some water. And now we're about to mix. Do you hear that? Keep mixing, family. Keep mixing. Your own baby 
Chicken Nuggy and your own family hoodie. On ShopAlexia.com this November 4th. You crash, but you actually... <gasps> Oof! <gasps> oh! <gasps> yeah, that one was kind of dark. I love starting off the video being reminded just how close to death we are every single day. <gasps> That's not making me laugh. That's called anxiety. And now I have it. She thought I was the one. Oh, hell no. I don't play. Apparently, this person at the drive-thru wasn't trying to pay for their meal. And the driver was trying to convince the employee to give her the soda anyways. But let's see what the employees do. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, she's taking back the drink. <gasps> she got out of her car. What the? The car. <gasps> I am not laughing, but that was good. You know that those drive through employees just went through an eight-hour shift of people complaining about too much ketchup on their hot dogs and not enough pickles on their burgers. And you think they're going to take your crap? No free soda for you, cheapo. But you did get a free shower. So this dude just walks in holding a crab. Oh. He puts the crab on the table and tries desperately to convince us it's alive. Now let's continue. He even grabs my water in further attempt to convince me, pours it on the crab, expecting it to do something, and immediately realizes what the flip? it's not alive. He then takes the crab and licks the water and proceeds to walk out calmly. Okay, maybe I could have gotten past the whole bringing your crab to work day thing. But once he picks that crab off the table and give that counter a little... No, no, that's where we draw the line. Guess the ocean must have been extra salty that day because the dude seemed pretty thirsty. Show me something in your home that you designed and built. What the? Was that a baby's foot? No, no, sorry. Was that a baby's foot inside of a toilet? Made it into a handle that you flick on and off? You telling me you were so cheap that you tossed your baby in there instead of buying it a new crib? I mean, you would probably save a lot of money that way. And save on swimming lessons. Huh, maybe I take that back and it's actually a good idea. Five minute crafts be like, putting on a regular face mask the normal way. Oh no, no, no. Let's put it on this very awkward drawer and try and open it and then be even more awkward trying to put it on our face. Thumbs up? No, dude, put those thumbs down. This is the most infuriating video that I've ever seen. Oh, do you hate drinking water from a cup? Don't worry. Five Minute Crafts invented a life pack that automatically catches rain into your mouth. All you gotta do is sleep outside and potentially almost get eaten by a bear, but we'll worry about that later. A life hack. Thanks, Five Minute Crafts. Absolutely no one. Our smoke detector. No! Y'all, I was not ready for that. Your smoke detector is like that one teacher in school who wears heels. The hallway is completely dead silent. And all you hear is... Sorry. Did anybody ask you for your opinion? You're disrupting the peace. How am I supposed to cheat on a test if your heels are as loud as a police siren? Not cool. Don't order Mexican food from Sheen. <laughs> oh, that little grab onto the toilet holder. Yeah, that was bad. Family, there are a couple things in life that you should never go cheap on going on vacation buying things for your family and buying food you're telling me that you went out and got a musty crusty knockoff a taco bell taco bell's already not edible and you got the walmart version of that whoa you might have saved a couple bucks on cheap food but you're gonna be paying double triple quadruple the price on toilet paper for uh, probably the next two weeks Cashier, that will be six twenty-five, ma'am. Me. <laughs> Shake it, girl. Or guy. The Among Us characters suss either way, so you might as well get paid for it. But how much Taco Bell do you think that I'll buy? Just asking for a friend. Help! I could play Roblox in my fridge? Lol, lol. First of all, that is the boxiest fridge I have ever seen. Kind of fitting. 
Oh my gosh, that's actually Roblox! They're playing a squid game game! So your fridge provides you food and game entertainment? Can I put my bed in there too? I don't even care if I get frostbite and lose my feet. As long as I still got my hands to play games, I'll never have to walk again. I finally learned this dance. Okay, Mickey. Show me what you got, rat. Ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I feel like I just got cursed or possessed by a demon. I knew there was something sketchy about Walt Disney. And here comes the bride. No. Actually, the bride ended up having some second thoughts on the groom and she booby trapped the whole door. Epic gamer moment? I think so. When your killer dumbass. What's wrong with that? Oh, the grammar! No! No! <laughs> Bro, I think you have more to worry about than correcting that dude's spelling. But I mean, hey, maybe he'll appreciate it and spare your life. Or maybe he'll get extra fast and, uh, oof, you even quicker. I mean, it's worth a shot, though. When you're cuddling with your dog and she decides to yawn in your face. Mmm, okay, we can all relate to this. Your dog's all fluffy and cute until they open their mouth and it smells like a fee of rotten fish. And then you remember that it's probably because you literally just fed your dog rotten fish. I mean, have you ever seen what's in those dog food packs? It's nasty. So don't be beefing with your dog over their stanky breath. I don't want to see no complaining until I see you buying your dog T-bone steak and sweet potato fries. How long until you oof? I'm gonna have an egg cut, I promise. I just don't have a barber right. 30 seconds? We think all that is fake. Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm calling that. Oh, I am so confused. Also kind of impressed. Her. He's probably out cheating on me. Him? <laughs> nah, girl. He's just playing the jump rope. Playing jump rope to get super fit to look really good to then cheat on you. Duh. This is my girlfriend's dad. I've known him for 12 years. And we get along really well. So I think it's time to ask him the question. <gasps> <laughs> Well, that was a twist. Did I not just say family that men cheat? Even if it's with your own dad. You just never know. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. <gasps> that was spooky, but also really creative. So I want to like it, but I just hate it. Definitely not laughing though. <sighs> oh, there's a cute little squirrel. Or... Oh. Oh no! Oh no, sis! You are not! <gasps> oh, this is not a good situation! Ah! Also kind of creepy that he went for the middle of her skirt. If you know what I mean. Dude, if you want to ask her on a date, just say it in person. Don't be hanging off her skirt like a creep! I can't believe I caught this on camera, LMAO. That's a lot of rain. No! That just shows you that you got real bad juju from talking about somebody else's mom. You don't do that, sir. If you talked about my mom, I'd do a lot worse than just make you disappear with a lightning bolt. I'd make you disappear with three. More electricity. So we put my dog in the bathroom and acted like we left the house, and this is what we saw. Uh oh, let's see what happened. Oh. <gasps> what in the chicken nugget? That was the dog holding the door open, standing like a human. That's not normal. I think your dog's been playing you this whole time. Or he's been plotting on you. I think I'd sleep with one eye open. When the pilot took the class online? <laughs> I didn't know you could learn how to fly a plane on social media. Not gonna cap. I forgot how to do these. <gasps> what? Oh, no! Yeah, he wasn't capping. That plane be wiggling as much as me when I'm trying to shake a spider off of me. But I don't think the spider is the only thing that's going to be falling off this trip. I might be sensing a plane crash in my future, but, you know, don't trust my opinion. I ain't no pilot, but I'll wait. Neither is the dude flying this plane. Yikes. 
Oh, look, there's Batman in blue with an ice cream in front. And they're about to play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the ice cream. Oh, ready, baby nuggie. Let's play rock, paper, scissors to fight over the chicken nuggies. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you don't have any hands. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, Batman wins. Oh, wait, wait a second, Batman. What were you doing? Blue wins. Why are they sticking their tongue out like a little lizard? How do you know Blue was trying to lick that ice cream cone? And not trying to lick the rainbow cones on top of Bam Bam's head instead. Those things look like ice cream too. I can't wait since Rainbow Friends just made us laugh. They got one point on the board. Let's keep going. Rock, paper, scissors. 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 Wait, they're playing for a really long time. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> they both played for so long. That their ice cream melted. Boys, you used to be playing for ice cream. And now you're just playing for a liquid stream. Your ice cream looks like a river. Sorry. <gasps> Ooh, look at this next competition. It's a soda bottle swiping competition. And Van Van's up first. He did it! Ah! Can you Oh no! What about Nab Nab? Oh no! They keep dropping the soda! But from the looks of it, that might be a good thing! I don't think that's soda coming out of that bottle! I think it's black sludge! Oh no, let's see blue! family. Blue might have won the water bottle flip competition, but did he make us laugh? No! no, no, no. The cartoon of Batman did! Because they were so bad at the game that it made it funny. Cartoon of Batman gets a point! Family, comment down below funny game! That's the secret word in today's video. And me and Baby Nuggie will heart your comments! Oh, and our next competition is a jumping competition! To see who can jump the highest. First up is Blue from Rainbow Friends. Wow! He jumped so high, he made it to the McDonald's fries! Now let's see Bam Bam! Oh, he's chicken nugget! He jumped so high, he got to the Nintendo Switch! All right, next up is Nap Nap. Let's see how high he can jump. Oh, wait. Wait, wait a second, family. Where did Nab Nab go? Oh. <laughs> Nab Nab! You didn't jump up there? You crawled on the walls with your spider legs. And then since you climbed so high, you smacked the very top option. Was that technically cheating? Yes. But was that also the funniest thing ever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. Garden of Batman gets another point. Tell me who is gonna win. Comment down below who you think's gonna win. And if you get it right, I'm gonna heart your comment. All right, family. This next game is kind of like the soda bottle flip that we already saw. Except instead of using a soda bottle, we're using Batman's horns. All right, first up we got is blue. <gasps> oh. Didn't get it. All right, next up is Bambolina. <gasps> oh, sorry, girl. Close, but not close enough. Maybe you should squeeze your bow on a little tighter. Next up is Jumbo Josh. He <laughs> got it. And not only does that win you this challenge, but no, Garden of Advent got another point. Ooh, look at this. A giant apple that blue and green are trying to cut. All right, blue, let's see what you got. Wow! He smacked it perfectly in half. All right, green, let's see the same thing. Uh, wait, what? Why didn't the apple fall? Oh, no. I think something else fell instead. And that was Blue's pants. <laughs> Green definitely made us laugh. That means Rainbow Friends gets a point. Three points.
Sports Corner, Ban Ban, two points, Rainbow Friends. All right, Ban Ban versus Blue Pizza Challenge. Oh, this is a bottle flip competition. If you flip the bottle and it lands straight up, then you get to eat a piece of pizza. And since Blue just got his right, he gets the first slice. All right, Ban Ban, let's see it. Oh, 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 Ban Ban, no, you keep missing. Ban Ban, every time you miss a bottle flip, Blue gets to eat another slice of pizza. And now the pizza's almost all gone. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Yay! Ban Ban gets the last slice. Oh, oh. Oh. I think Blue ate it too fast. No pizza for Ban Ban. <laughs> Blue tricked Ban Ban and that was super funny. So Rainbow Friends gets another point. Only now it's three points going to Ban Ban. Three points Rainbow Friends. And only one competition left. And what is that last competition? <gasps> it's a lemonade drinking competition. Oh, man. This is going to be intense. <gasps> Rock, paper, scissors. Wow. Blue wins that. Oh. Hey, yo. One gulp Rock, challenge? <gasps> blue wins again? <gasps> and he gulped it all down again. Uh-oh. What about this time? Blue wins again! Oh, man, and look at Ban Ban! He's so sad he's about to cry! Wait a second, what's Blue doing? <gasps> he just put a second straw inside the lemonade? And you know what that means, family? They can both drink the lemonade! Aww! And family, that means they both win! Kind of Ban Ban and Rainbow Friends win the competition! And now are you ready for some secret bonus footage? But family, don't forget I'm gonna show you some never-before-seen Garden Band Man 4 characters right after this bonus footage! There's green and blue. Blue has an idea. Uh, <laughs> blue! That is not a keyboard! And that is also definitely not something you want green to be smacking. I am just saying. Pizza! And Blue seems like he has a lot of it. Uh, hey! Wait a second! Where did all of Blue's pizza go? Somebody stole it! Red, was it you? Uh, nope. All that's in his tummy is a banana. Well, what about you, Purple? What's in your tummy? Just a soda can. All right, Green, let's investigate you. What's in your tummy? <gasps> it's the pizza! <laughs> Family Green was the one who stole it! Sneaky, sneaky green monster. And now look at this mystery wheel. <gasps> Whatever it lands on is what you have to eat. Uh-oh. Hamburger! Green gets a hamburger! Sticky fish, sticky fish, sticky fish. French fries! Blue gets French fries! The family on that delicious note. Now I'm about to show you the never before seen Garden Band Band 4 characters. Fast pancakes! Look at this pancake making competition! On the right, we have pink Coach Pickles, better known as Coach Piccolina. But look at this on the left, family. This is a brand new rainbow character from the Garden of Ban Ban called Slinky Bear. We have not seen him yet in any of the Garden of Ban Ban games. But where we have seen him is in this bubbly pancake! Are you ready, family? We're about to flip both pancakes in three, two, one! Whoa! Not only do they look delicious, they also look like they could eat me. Oh no! Which one of these pancakes do you like better? Comment down below! Okay, next pancake head to head we got. <gasps> Ooh! I recognize these characters. On the left, we are creating Patched Willy. He is a purple and green slithering snake. And on the right, we have a crab. He is super big and super red. And his name is Crabzilla! Whoa, family, look! They're making these pancakes so fast. And they are getting bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Cooked, cooked, cooked! And now we're about to flip, flip, flip! Whoa! And the pancakes are done! Comment down below your favorite! 
next pancake competition, we have Tamataki versus Ava Ban Ban. Both of them have their mouths wide open with their tongues out. Can somebody please tell them that they are not going to be licking any ice cream? And to put that baby back in their mouth. Whoa! Tamataki and Tamataki are so cute. And Ban Ban looks like he's panting like a dog. Oh, and next up is a giant competition of Happy Frank the Rhino and Coach Piccolina. This is the ultimate color competition of blue versus pink. And let's see which one of these pancakes we like better. Whoa, Happy Frank looks just like the sky. And Coach Piccolino looks just like a strawberry. They both look so tasty. Coach Piccolino is ready to sing. And Happy Frank is ready to fight. Bro, seriously, can you please put down your hands? You are starting to make me nervous. I don't care if you're just a pancake. All right, family, comment down below right now which one of these crazy pancakes is your favorite. Family, today my mom and I are playing Roblox Doodle Transform. We're going to see who can draw the best picture ever and win the whole game. Mom, are you ready? Excuse me, Bob. Hello. I said, are you ready? Family, what's a chicken nugget? My mom is playing this game and she is completely ignoring me. Whoa, what's that pink blob in front of my screen? Mom, it's me, it's me, it's me. Ow. Okay, let's play. Ow. All right, family, to make Chester from the Garden Band Band, we have to have two main colors. Oh, ooh, I just messed up already. <laughs> Hi, you just messed up. No, no, my drawing is definitely gonna be better than yours. Mom, don't look. Focus on your own. All right, family, so you gotta get the blue color on one side, and then after you do that, you get the green color on the other. Okay, you might think that my picture is looking a little bit squiggly right now, but if you look at the regular picture of Jester, he is all squiggly himself too. So I think my picture is perfect. How's your photo going, Mom? Great! Yeah, I'm sure it looks horrible. No! Alright, family, do not forget, this is a competition of who can draw the better jester. My beautiful green and blue jester like this. Or whatever the chicken nugget by Bobby's looks like. <laughs> Almost done. Alright, Mom, the timer's running out in three, two, one! <laughs> Wow! Look at my gesture! It looks amazing! And now, mommy, where are you? Let's see yours! Uh, uh, uh. Wait a second, mom, where's your gesture? <laughs> I'm right here! All I see is this pink blob looking thing. <laughs> no, I'm a gesture! You are a strawberry! And family, you gotta comment down below who you think won this round. Anything, Alexia? Or strawberry Aww. mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Next round! Woohoo! I love Barbie! And I love pink and so do you! Because that's apparently the only thing you know how to draw! Yeah, is that a problem? Three, two, one, let's go! Okay, family, I'm gonna be drawing now Barbie! She's gonna be all in pink and she's gonna be a cowgirl! Barbie! This one's gonna be so easy! What do you mean? This round's gonna be super duper hard. There's just so much to draw. Ah, uh, no, like I said, B A R B I V. Barbie, Barbie, let's go! And finishing touches. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 I'm not done yet. Oh, and uh, look at that on the clock. We only have 10 seconds left. Family, who do you think's gonna have the better B A R B I E in this round? Uh, I think it's gonna be me. And the timer's up! Ta-da! It's my Barbie! B-A-R-B-I-E. <laughs> Alexia, what are you talking about? You just spelled Barbie. You were supposed to draw Barbie. <gasps> oh, wait a second, family! My mom drew this beautiful picture of Barbie! And I just drew the letters of the alphabet! But at least mine has a little heart in it. Well, I think mine's just gorgeous and yours is just plain. Oh, so mean! 
family. Who do you think won this round? My mom's Barbie or my B A R B I E? I'm gonna lay down and go tanning instead. I'm gonna go for a swim. <laughs> 45 seconds back up on the board, and let's start our monster! Wait, Queen Bouncy is a monster? Queen who? Bob, do you even know who we're drawing? I think so! Hey, uh, you better hurry up. All right, family, since Queen Bouncelia is a kangaroo, we have to draw that! Ooh, and now the big kangaroo pouch! Just like a garden man, man! Oh, yeah, and don't forget about their big, long tail. This is fun! Mm. Not until you lose! What? Because I'm gonna win. And also, you can't forget about these spooky eyeballs in Queen Bouncelia's big kangaroo pouch. Because family, remember, inside of her pouch are tiny little babies! Whoa! Ooh, and now I get to add the Queen Bouncelia crown! And now for the coolest part, it's drawing Queen Bouncelia's magic wand! Oh, family, and now the timer's up! Mom, are you done drawing your pick? Almost, yeah! Timer's up! Oh, no! Ta-da! Mom, look at my Queen Bouncelia! Let's see yours! <laughs> Wait a second, what is that? It's King Bouncelia! The only thing I see on her face is a big black blob! That's not a black blob, that's his beard! Uh, uh, <laughs> A beard? Yeah, for King Bouncilia. Mom, it's not King Bouncilia. Are you serious? It's Kawaina Bouncilia. She's supposed to be a girl, not a boy. How would you like it if I gave you a beard, huh? Don't do that to me. <laughs> Too late? Already did. Family, which Queen Bouncilia do you like better? Comment down below. Next round. <laughs> This next round is gonna be the best round yet because we are drawing a secret picture that you have to guess who it is. Oh man, okay, I'm starting off with some yellow and now I'm adding some blue on the bottom. Ooh. Mom, do you think the family knows what we're drawing? Yeah, I think so. You think so already? We barely drew anything. All right, family, I did the yellow on the top and the blue on the bottom, but now I'm adding some polka dots too. Oh, this one is so funny. And also a big secret. Now, okay, I'm coloring in some more. Oh, I'm almost done mine. Add on the eyeballs. Add on the mouth. Oh, look, he's smiling. The rosy red cheeks. Oh, and the timer's up. Look at our secret image! Baby Nuggie! We drew Baby Nuggie! But I think one of us drew Baby Nuggie a lot better than the other. I know I did. <laughs> you did? What are you talking about? I did. Look at my picture. It looks just like Baby Nuggie. <gasps> we should ask Baby Nuggie who he thinks drew the better Baby Nuggie. Yeah, it's obvious. Okay, Baby Nuggie, look at these two versions of you. Which one do you like? We love you or something. But now you don't even like our drawings. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Family, this round we're going to draw blue from Rainbow Friends because there is a brand new Rainbow Friends game out. Number two. Uh -huh. So let's start drawing. Yeah. I think this round's going to be the best round yet. I think so. And I'm done. But wait a second. I still have drawing to do. Okay, slow pole. Keep drawing. The family, I have the blue here for the blue. And then I have the blue here for blue. And then, uh, oh, yeah, I have some more blue over here for blue. <laughs> Wow, look at my amazing blue from Rainbow Friends. See, family, I have blue right here. And then I have his crown there. Oh, and I even drew a box right beside him there. You know, because the player hides in the box to get away from blue. I even have blue's drool coming out of his mouth. Isn't it amazing? Alexi, 
Alicia. You didn't draw that. I did. Wait, what? If I didn't draw that, then that would mean that I drew this blue and yellow blob looking thing. That doesn't even look like blue at all. Yeah, you drew that. Yeah, it looks worse than the stuff on the bottom of my shoe. <gasps> oh, that is so mean. I'm gonna cry. Baby Dougie, where are you? I'm so sad. Mom is being so mean. Our last round is Sheriff Toaster from Garden Batman 4. Because family Sheriff Toaster is like the only nice one in the whole game who actually wants to be our friend. Unlike anybody else today in this game. 30 seconds on the board. Let's draw Sheriff Toadster. All right, family. I am going to start off by drawing Sheriff Toadster's big, giant head. Because he has huge teeth and a really big smile. And that means his head is super duper big. Ooh, and I'm even going to draw his hands out here. Mom, how's your picture looking? Really good. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, then we're going to draw in the brown. Because Sheriff Toadster is brown all over. I remember, Mom? I'm Sheriff Toadster, since his name is Sheriff Toadster. He's a frog. Oh, mine is looking so good right now. I'm almost done. Wow, but so is the timer on the board. Oh, man, we gotta hurry quick, Mom. Quick, 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 before the timer runs out. Three seconds left on the board in three, two, one. Whoa. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Don't work anymore. I'm not working. I think you might have been cheating. And now, family, look at my Sheriff Toaster right here. Doesn't he look so good? And so much like the real Sheriff Toaster. Wait, Alexia, why is your Sheriff Toaster brown? Sheriff Toaster? <laughs> That's not Sheriff Toaster. It's Sheriff Toaster. You know, Bob, like, ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, I know. Look at my frog. It's Sheriff Toaster. Toaster? Wait, 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 wait a second. Is this your Sheriff Toadster? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's not Sheriff Toadster. That's just a regular toad. You made a real frog. <laughs> yeah, and did I win anything? Uh, sure, Mom. You can win a hundred different flies. Because that is what frogs eat for breakfast. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Comment down below who you think won this crazy competition. If you like today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Go subscribe to our second YouTube channel called Nuggy Land. And go get the Anything Alexia merch and Chicken Nuggy plushies at TopAlexia.com. Me, my mom, and baby Nuggy love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.